remove zero sum consecutive nodes from linked list. Given a linked list, something like this, there are consecutive nodes that sum up to zero. For example, these three that sum up to zero. So you remove them, you return three one. There can also be other possibilities. For example, these two consecutive nodes sum up to zero. If you remove them, you can return one to one. Both answers can be accepted. 3, negative 3, you return 1, 2, 4. 3, negative 3, 2, negative 2, return 1. The length of the given linked list is between 1 and 1,000, so the head that is given is a valid node. Pause the video and see if you can solve it. Suppose this is the linked list. These three nodes sum up to zero, so we remove them. Like the last three sum up to zero, so we remove them. We should re ideally return three, one in the end. So this should be the result. The algorithm is called prefix sum or accumulated sum. You have a sum that starts off with zero. As you iterate through the linked list or array, you accumulate the sum. So we start off with zero. As we iterate through here, our sum increments, increment, 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 increment. So this is the accumulated sum. And we are using a hash table. This sum will be the key of the hash table, and the value of the hash table will be the corresponding node. At zero, we will just put a dummy node. Three, we put in the node of three. Note, we are putting in the node data structure instead of the integer. That's why I use this notation. The value of the hash table is the data structure, not integer. OK, so let us now walk through the algorithm. We start off with the first node, three. Sum accumulates to three, and we push the node into the hash table, three. OK. Then we move on to four. Sum accumulated to seven. We push the node into the value of the hash table. OK. Then we move on to here. Sum accumulated to nine. And the value of the hash table is the node of two. Then once we visit this node, the sum accumulated to three, you realize something. This three already existed because we use a hash table, so we know this key exists. Let me ask you this question. What is the significance of this value has already existed? What it means is that previously we have an accumulated sum of three. Then we did some changes. So this sum, it can go up, it can go down, it go up and down. Then it come back to three again. What that means is that this window of change has a net sum of zero. And this window is what we want to remove, right? And what is this window? It is 4, 2, negative 6. Now you see the power of using a hash table to store the key, which is accumulated sum. Once you see a sum that you have already stored, you know from that node onwards, you remove all those nodes, right? In this case, we are removing 4, 2, and negative 6. So the algorithm is once you see a key that already exists. Now the question is, what should we remove? Or since we are dealing with linked list, what kind of new link shall we draw? We should draw a link from here to here, right? So we can say we draw a link from this node to the next node. Assuming I use sum to represent accumulated sum. So let's say the sum right now is 3. And current node to represent the current node. So in our case, the current node is negative 6. You are drawing a link from, from the hash of that sum. The hash of the sum is this node, right? You draw a link to the next of the current node, right? Because we are skipping 
4, 2, negative 6. So you draw a link from here to here. At the same time, we need to remove the entrance of the key value pairs here and here and here, right? Remove the entries in the hash table. So this should no longer be in the hash table. As of right now, our hash table will look like dummy, dummy node to 3 to 1. Let us continue. The sum as of now is 4. Then we come to this node with the accumulated sum is 5. Node is 1. These two nodes are different because they are different in memory if you are talking about C++. They are different in references if you are talking about JavaScript. Then we visit the next node. The accumulated sum is 10. The node is 5. Then we come to the last node, which is which gives us cumulative sum of 4. But wait a minute, the 4 already exists in the hash table. So it indicates to us that this window from the previous node onwards to now, they give us a net sum of 0. So we should remove all of them. How do we remove it? We draw a link from the hash of the sum. What is the sum? The sum is 4. The hash of the sum is this node, right? It's node 1. We draw a link from the hash of the sum, which is this, to the next of the current node. This is the current node, right? This is the current node. We from here to, well, since it doesn't have a next, it means it, it, it means we are already at the end of the link list, which is fine. It is just a null, right? And we remove the entries in the hash table. We remove this, this, and we remove this. It depending on whether you even put in the entry of this. So what does our hash table look like in the end? The dummy node, 3, 1, 2, the null, which is our result. Okay, let us now do JavaScript. We have a dummy, which, just, which is just a dummy. It doesn't even have to have a zero, but whatever. Dummy.next is the head. And in the end, we return dummy.next. We have a hash table. Let's call it H. Well, it's a hash map. Let's call it HM. Goes to new map. We also need to have a prefix sum. Let's call it P sum. Prefix sum is the same as accumulated sum. Uh, different names refers to the same thing. Prefix sum is zero. Now we map set the prefix sum is the key and the node data structure is the value. Then we go through the linked list while head is valid. Head equals to head.next. We should update the prefix sum, right? Prefix sum plus equals to head val. Once a key exists in the hash map, so map.has, hm.has, if you have a p sum, then we have it else. What if you don't have a p sum? We put in the entry, right? So hm.set, p sum, and the head. This should be dot. I forgot I was doing JavaScript. So what if a key exists in the hash map? We should draw a link from the hash of the sum to the next recurrent node. But before that, let us remove the entries. Then we draw the link, which is the same as delete the node. OK, now who shall we remove? We should remove the entry, for example, 4, 2, Neg negative 6. Well, negative, negative 6 we never even put in a hash table in the first place, so we remove 4 and 2. Let us use this cumulative sum of 3 as an example. What is the hash of 3? It refers to this node, right? However, we do not want to remove this node. We want to remove one node after that. So let us declare to remove, which is 
hash table dot get p sum dot next. Remember, hash table of p sum, assuming prefix sum is three, it refers to this node. But we don't want to remove this node. We want to remove the next of that. So to remove refers to the node of four. And by removing entries, that means remove entries from the hash table. So we will keep removing until remove hit the current node, which is head. I'm comparing the references of the two JavaScript objects. So this is fun. However, if we want to remove entries from the hash table, we need to remove the key, which is the accumulated sum. And we have to calculate that. Let us just have a sum is initialized to be prefix sum and we calculate remove.val uh, remove p sum and advance so this take care of removing the entries in this case we removed for and two. This we never put in the hash table. So we draw the link from hm.get p sum to the next of the current. So let's test it out. Oh this this should be sum, it's not p sum. Test it out. This is also sum, not p sum. Okay, basically, I'm using the sum variable to calculate the key to, re to be removed from the hash table. So it initializes at p sum, so it initializes at 3. Once we go into this while loop, our sum will become 7, so I remove hash table 7. Then we go to here, we remove the hash table of 9. Then my to remove will become the same reference as the head, so we stop removing, right? Okay, moment of, moment of truth, submit. All right, so there we go.